All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I'm here because I'm, I'm um, want to give you another economic update of what's really truly transpiring taking place here. That are on Fox News, whether it be Glenn Beck, Judge Napolitano, whatever his name is, um, Dagan at Fox Business, uh, or, or any of these people, because they speak out of two sides of their mouth. Let me give you the truth of our economic conditions and what we're facing right now. You see, Timothy Geithner, uh, I think it was on January the 6th, sent a letter to the Senate Majority Leader telling him that if we do not raise the debt ceiling by a trillion dollars, a trillion, one trillion dollars, by the first, by the, uh, the end of the first quarter, or the first quarter in itself, um, that we're going to have dire consequences. We're going to default. Now, what they're doing is they put all this news out there in front of you people to try to convince you that this is the only option that we have. And they know that many of us American people can't articulate what's going on, so they, they, they flood the news sources um, so that you won't flood the switchboards at Washington um, to tell all these so-called quote-unquote Tea Party people. You're going to find out that a lot of them are going to knuckle under the pressure of the rest of those snakes and jackals that are up there in the outhouse right now. You're going to find out that that Tea Party junk ain't worth nothing. They're nothing but a bunch of uh, Ponzi scheme um, cronies themselves. But they're telling you that unless we print one trillion dollars to pay our debts, that we're headed for catastrophic, catastrophic, apocalyptic a situation here in the United States. Now first of all, number one, the truth is, we're already headed that way. And there ain't nothing they're going to do about it. Because these people went to college, got their MBAs, and it takes somebody with that kind of mind to put us in the situation we're in right now. We don't use common sense. It's so uncommon today. Um, but you, you answer me this. How are you going to pay off our national debt, which they say... Um, is at the interest rate of 3% owed to the private Federal Reserve Bank. How are you going to pay off that national debt by continually expanding the national debt? Now I have another solution that, that should be done. And, and what number one, what should be done is this. Is that we should cut government spending so that we don't have to go and print money. Because you notice they're not saying borrowing money. Now some of them are trying to say borrow money, but the truth is China is not going to give us no money. So we're not borrowing money from them. Russia is not going to give us no money. Um, that, what they're talking about borrowing money from is the Federal Reserve Bank. We're not borrowing money from our own country. We're borrowing money from a private institution. Now if you want to know how the world is going to react to us expanding our national debt, um, Russia and China has already told you how they believe by, tell, by, by communicating with themselves and telling you that what we're going to do is we want to opt out of the dollar. We're just going to ignore. We're not going to trade any more dollars. Um, there's no way that they can pay back $64 trillion, which they got you believe in it's only $14 trillion. But there's no way we're going to do it. You see, they've lied to the American people. They have borrowed from the American public whether you people understand it like it or not they have already borrowed from your children's children's future and every single American that is live right now and those that are coming into this world are already because of the policies of Washington because of the economic conditions that these people who went to these Harvard, Yale and all these other um, jack leg schools and so called a so called better than us through education you know it takes a stupid fool to get us in the dire situation that we're in right now it takes somebody with an NBA to put us in the conditions that we're in right now but they have already indebted every single American $45,303.82 into the future. So a baby that is born is automatically $45,000 in debt. And you're going to tell me that the only option that we've got is we have to print more money? No, the, the real true option is 
is that it makes no difference how much fear mongering you try to put upon the people by telling them, unless we do this, unless we do this, we're going to default. The truth is, we're going to default anyway. We're going to, and there ain't nothing we're going to do about it. Um, because you ignorant people up there ain't got no sense. It makes no difference. We are going to default anyway. You can call yourself trying to stay in the pain, but let me tell you all you American people, you American public something. Your country has forsaken you. It is through their wickedness, their deceit, their lies, their treacheries. What did George Orwell say? Politics itself is a mass of lies, evasion, fraud, folly, hatred, and schizophrenic ideas. That's all that politics is. George Orwell, 1984. But there ain't nothing they're going to do to stay this pain. You see, right now we're not experiencing this economic collapse in this country because we have a printing press. They're telling you that's the only option we have is a printing press. We have no options. That's it. We have no other solutions. No other solution. Well, I'm telling us what the solution is. The solution is, is cut all this government spending, cut out all this warmongering and go and taking over other countries and all this empire building time for us to mind our own business and to take care of our own backyard. They ain't going to tell you that. They're not going to tell you that. So, I'm trying to figure out, since we are broke, bankrupt, how do you take a printing press and print more fiat currency that you call money, flood it into the system, pay to the rest of the world? The world countries have got to be stupid fools themselves if they're going to take dollars to pay a debt. What the American government need to do is go to Fort Knox and take every ounce of gold, every ounce of silver that we have on hand, and then go pay these countries with whatever we've taken. Because I know we took a whole uh, tanker load of gold from Saddam Hussein under going, when we went into that war on these trumped up charges. Um, we are in a mess. And most of you Americans just do not understand. Why do you, I'm a pastor. Why do you think I come on here talking about this? Because um, uh, I'm some type of uh, economic guru? No, because money is, is a means by, whereby we all trade and we live our lives every day and it has something to do with our lives. It's hard to function without it, but if you don't understand how money works, if you don't understand uh, what's going on in the time that we're living in right now, you're going to suffer. That's why I tell all you people out there, your pastor is a liar, especially if he's going on stupidity, ignorance, especially if he's apathetic and don't care about nothing about history. You see, history is how we're able to determine the future. Because if we don't know history, we're destined to repeat the same mistakes of the past. And no doubt we have not learned our lesson because our country right now is repeating the same mistakes of the past. There has never been an empire that has gone the way that we're gone, going right now. All of them have went this way. All fiat currencies, paper money has failed. Gold and silver has always been money, currency, currency, real true money, 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 metals has always been. And the way things are going, there's not a bank in the world, including this World Bank that they're getting ready to create. It's already in the making. There's not a bank in this world that's ever going to trust any government with any fiat currency. And that's the truth. It's all about control. Well, again, you need to get rid of those lying people. Because, see, what they want to do is they want to put all this fear upon you to hoping that you don't call, call the switchboard in Washington so that there's no pressure upon your elected officials to change their mind. You watch and see these Tea Party people who talk about that they, the one one thing that they did run on her is that they wasn't going to expand, they were not going to expand the national debt. You watch and see. You watch them knuckle under when those jackals and snakes and dogs and vipers get up there. It's amazing because what our government need is discipline. They demand discipline out of the people. They have austerity measures for you, but then they have defaults they have bankruptcy, they have bailouts for all of Wall Street, but austerity measures for you, the people. You know, we better wake up. My, my message to us is taking responsibility, physical responsibility 
for our own actions. That's what we need to do. That's the reason why I'm going out on these meetings. That's the reason why I'm going out because I'm here. I'm here because I'm going to talk in greater detail at this meeting about what you need to do to prepare. Number one, against the evils of your own government, because they have already forsaken you as the people. We don't have. They're telling you this. The only option we have as a country is to print more money because they can't fathom spending cuts, cutting the government down. They can't fathom that. And so they, they're causing fear upon the people by telling them, we're going to default, we're going to default. People, we're going to do it anyway. There is no way that we can pay back this debt. The world knows it. That's why they're opting out of the dollar. You could talk about us losing our AAA rating. You mean tell me that uh, the only way we can keep our AAA rating is to print another trillion dollars? Uh, that's like me saying, okay, I have, if I have a credit card and I've got it maxed out at $30,000 and, and I'm saying that, you know what, I can't pay this unless you extend my credit by $10,000. Now, if you give me $10,000 more than the $30,000 you already have given me and you're charging me interest on, then I can pay you the debt. What bank would actually allow you to do that? Hmm? Which, which one? Which one? What makes you think that China, Russia, and all the rest of these countries, that they, our country tells us they're the communists? I'm thinking that the, the Americans are communists. The way we're acting, our policies, the way we're carrying ourselves. They already tell you, you ain't borrowing no more money from us. We ain't giving you nothing. So since we can't borrow no more money, whether you like it or not, our AAA rating is already gone. It's already defaulted on. We're finished as a country. That's why you better start hedging yourself. That's the reason why you get gold and silver. Because you're protecting your purchasing power that fiat currency can't do. And your pastors, your teachers, your ministers, they ain't, gonna, they ain't telling you nothing. Joseph war, and that's why I'm here. Because there's a famine coming in this land. Physically, there's already a famine spiritually. There's already a famine for hearing the word because everybody out there believe that they're unique. Everybody out there think that they have something to add or they're special or their opinion is valid. You better stop paying attention to those who life does not and their lifestyle does not line up with the words that are coming out of their mouth. I had a man send me a message some time ago and he says, the one thing about Pastor Dow, he doesn't practice what he preaches, but he preaches what he practices. And that is the truth. If I don't practice it, I'm not going to preach it. I'm not going to sit up and mislead and deceive you to people. I'm only here to try to help us to understand. They're already manipulating the market. The CFTC has sided with J.P. Morgan Chase. Obama's getting ready to put another J.P. Morgan Chase uh, official in an elected office. Isn't that something? Going to do that. Um, they have already sided with J.P. Morgan and their manipulation. So the silver is going to go down just like I told you that it was. I told you it was going to be a pullback and it's happening right now. So that's, you know what that's doing for me? That is only telling me that now, hey, I thank you very much because now as the price goes down because it's manipulated, I get a chance to buy more and more silver. And I thank you very much for a lot of me that time. Because it ain't a matter of if, it's a matter of when all this is coming down. And the chickens have come home to roost. The days of our empire building is done for. It is over. And that's the truth, and that's the truth straightway.